We had humble beginnings. We're gonna go see what they were. I was born and raised in this house. And that tree was planted right when I was born. I grew up in this house. Then my mom wanted to buy a barn. So when people say, hey, did you grow up in a barn? I actually did. Then she sold that and she ended up building this, a one room schoolhouse. First kiss right here behind Shelter 3 Chautauqua Park. She knows who it is. Like right here. This used to be Putt-Putt Golf for the fun of it. And behind it was the roller rink, the slow skate, the limbo, cheese pizza, Skittles. Get out of here. Name one room on that top floor that I haven't been in or lived in. You used to live here? 17C, Tasty Utopia. Spent some formative years in this house. My mom renovated it. Here, lived there twice. I remember West End Cafe, Vivo's, Regina's, Paradiso, Thai Deli. That was my first home away from home. I was 17 years old. I remember paying $50 a month for it. I remember having a play date with Elia, kindergarten, on that tree. I remember saying something stupid. Anyway, he got pissed off at me. He ended up threatening me with a water soaker. Pretty funny. One of my best friends. I lived here. Here. I've lived here. I've lived there. G Money, good guy. Dead Man's Bridge? Who remembers Dead Man's Bridge? I've lived there. I've lived here. 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 I remember some homeless guy was like camping out here and we used to come back here and like fire BB guns and like light fireworks and stuff. We used to find his like dirty magazines. There was like empty bean cans and just like newspapers. It was pretty gnarled. Building 141. Of course that was before some life changing shit went down. 19 years old, changed my life forever. It's all right, we're good now. This was the old beatbox. Skate park in the back. That's where I got my first video lessons. I've lived here in the downstairs and then my girlfriend was renting upstairs, which basically meant that I was living there too. But I used to be the keeper of the lodge. That was before it burned down. It was called the Depot Building, Marty Broda's spot. It was like Andrew Perry, Channing, Evan Hillis, a few of us guys. I used to live in that house. There's a little attic apartment. I've lived there twice. So has my mom. Before the Depot Brewery, it was the Dharma House. We used to have some wild parties in there, let me tell you. This was also the beatbox before it became the Solid Power Crew radio station. I remember both fondly. Good times. That used to be everybody's. Who remembers when that was a Sunshine Grocery? Classic. That burger joint doesn't exist anymore. That used to be a church. And that used to be Annapurna. Seriously, you used to be able to get the best burger in town, the Cider House. Marishi School of the Age of Enlightenment. I went there until I was in 10th grade and then I dropped out and got my GED. It was awesome. There was only a couple of friends that did it with me. Two times I lived here was because of a girl, but it was probably my fault too. This was the shirt I wore when I bought the house. First I lived upstairs, then I lived downstairs, then I moved upstairs again. A lot of Pioneer basketball games in this here field house. And uh, just a little secret between you and me great place to stargaze. I'm not gonna tell you where, I'm not gonna tell you who to do it with, but it's nice. <laughs> and you know what? Second Reservoir is still one of the best places to watch a sunset, hands down. A lot of hearts were broken here, mine and theirs. Stay classy, Fairfield. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you will, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Peace and love.